This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome to the new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel we discuss all about WordPress and today we are going to explore a plugin called Affiliate Manager. Affiliate Manager can be used to set up affiliates for your WooCommerce store or for any of your sites. So to begin with it, first you have to go to plugins and go to add new and then type in affiliate. So here you will get multiple options, look out for affiliate manager and click on install and activate. So since I have already installed and activated already, we will go to its configuration. So after installing and activating you will see affiliate manager on your left side tab which is affiliates. Just click on it and the first thing will be shown is my affiliates. Here you can see the affiliates details, the one who is affiliated to your site. For example, my site is this one. So here on my store affiliate, if I log in as affiliate or register, then my details will be shown here. And the next thing is new affiliates. So here I can manually add the name of the new affiliate manually and then click on add affiliate so he will be he she will be added as an affiliate to my website next is my creatives creatives are the text banner or link your affiliate will use to drive traffic to your website so add banner or text links allows your affiliate to easily promote your store product or service whatever you are selling to their site or to anyone in personal also so affiliate manager already creates one by default so you do not have to create a new one unless you need to so to create you can click on create new and then type in the name of this created like for example i will give it to and where should it land to any page on your site or you can leave it to landing page so i can leave it to my shop page I just click copy and paste and what type it is so i can even choose text link or an image link so if i to choose image link then i will have to upload the image url I can go to my media library or upload a new file. So, for example, I can choose any of this. So, what will I do? I will choose the same product landing page and its image also. So, for example, I'll choose this one. Copy this. Choose the same image and replace the link. And alter text is the text shown if the image is not loaded or when you hover over the image. So I can save this creative and then it will be active. And we can see all my creatives. Here are my creatives. And then I can deactivate, preview, or edit it also by going to view. So this is the default one that is already created by Affiliate Manager. So I can either deactivate it or see how it looks like. So this is only a link. And now we have created a 
image so let's see how it looks like go to view and show its preview so this is how this links look like you click on ok moving on this is a paypal mass pay so if you do not want to pay manually you can set this paypal mass pay next is settings a general setting where you can send the minimum payout amount so after reaching this threshold your affiliates can get the payout so if you keep it high so it will take some time for them to reach this you can leave it to low high whatever you like so this is the qk duration days so every link of your affiliate will be active for 30 days or you can configure it about and you can even read more about this by clicking on this link moving on is the email name if you are using wordpress default then leave it to blank otherwise you have to type in your email name and address so this is automatically approving a new affiliate so whenever someone signs for affiliate it will automatically approve but if you want to manually do it you can just uncheck this checkbox so you can check background of the affiliate and you can ask multiple questions in the registration form like how will they promote your product and after reviewing it you can choose them to be your affiliate or not or if you want to do it automatically then just click on this checkbox so next is bounty type so you can select if, a, if it is a fixed amount or a percentage of sales so next thing is affiliate registration here you can see how the registration will looks like like you can change the registration like for example if i go to my registration of affiliate here i can customize this form so what things to take in in the form what things to not take in you can just uncheck it and if you want to add you can even add your own custom field simply by clicking on add custom field so i just click on cancel next is the affiliate home page message so this will be displayed in the affiliate home page if he is not a registered user he will be asked to register and then log in moving on is the affiliate home page logged in but not an affiliate So you can change the text also next is messaging so here on affiliate registration i'll change this to available payout methods to paper and manual only and then click on save settings next is messaging so here you can see all the messaging terms used next is payment you, here you can configure the payment so if you enable the mass pay you have to have a paypal business account and then you can configure this next is page forums So this is the home page of the affiliate home and the registration page how it looks like if you customize it on a different theme you can get its links here directly and the login page and the terms and condition page so all these pages are automatically created by affiliate manager and the last is advanced settings so here you can choose a different default landing page so here it is already my website space so i do not have to change anything but if i want to give 
my shop as the default landing page then i can copy paste the link here so if you disable this then the affiliate will cannot use his own link and then refer to himself and earn the commission and the next is automatically delete wordpress account if checked when an affiliate account is deleted the wordpress user account for it will be deleted automatically so you can delete the wordpress the account of the user directly by deleting his store affiliate account also so you can uncheck this so it will allow the uh, customer of your website to delete their affiliate account but keep their original account on your website so this will allow registration from your anchor and next to disable front end affiliate registration we still will be able to sign up on affiliate program registration page and here you can check or uncheck to show the terms and condition of your affiliate program and you can use ip address for referral tracking so you have to enable it if you want to track the ip through ip address so the last thing is the integration with simple membership plugin so if uh, if you have integrated with simple membership plugin and a user registers with simple membership then he will have a affiliate account automatically so you can click this box to enable this and leave it un unchecked if you do not have simple membership plugin installed so that's it for settings next is admin functions so you can choose the start date and end date after which all the data will be deleted like all the clicks data so whenever an aff uh, affiliates link is used to purchase a product the detail is saved on your website site so to delete all those data you can just click on delete clicks data and type in the start date and end date of the data to be deleted next is manage payout so here you can pay manually so here you can click on generate report to get the affiliate array that affiliates earning that need to be paid and then you can pay them as uh, through your own payment method and then click on pay mark as paid then they will be marked as paid the next is click tracking so all the clicks that are tracked will be shown here and the commission panel here it will show all the commissions that are earned by each rep and last section is add-ons so here you can add other add-on also so some of them are free and some of them are paid so for paid you have to purchase its pro package so affiliate manager is the only plugin that offers this much with its free package and you can switch to wp affiliate after using this affiliate manager if you want to so of course many of the professional use use wp affiliate on their affiliate sites so let's see how it's work so first the user have to go to affiliate register and register himself you can type in the company name and website url if you already have a website and then click on agree to terms and condition click on submit so here you can see the registration is complete so after this session they can go to affiliate login and here as we can see after this session the automatically login is done then they can go to store affiliates and here we can they can see all the balance commission rate visitors cross transaction revenue and this month's visitor cross transaction revenue next is sales i'll be able to see my sales as an affiliate 
my payment history like if i have been paid for my reference or not uh, and the created link so here i can see my unique link so this is my unique link which i can use in my affiliate website so here you can enter the url of your site and then you can create a referral link also so if i want to create a referral link for a specific product i can just get the product link like this one and then add it here and then click on generate referral then it will automatically generate a referral id like this and you can even do it manually by typing this after any product link and typing your referral id so this is the creatives that are available one is default creative and next is image so i can just click on it and then get its link So this is the share link and this is the html snippet so they can add it on their website and it will display this automatically next is edit profile here the affiliates can edit its profile like change its name phone number email address anything like this and the last thing is logout option so if you click on it the affiliate will be logged out So after logged out, logging out, the store affiliate will be shown this message. So if he is a affiliate, he have to log in. Otherwise, he have to register. And now I can see in my affiliates, affiliate is added and the ID is given as one. So I can view all the affiliate details by clicking on view. and you can even deactivate his or her thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate for press